Okay, the U vowel has a different approach. Remember, I said all spell sounds stem from it's the la, except U and E. Well, U is, has some similarities, but it's not quite uh, as easy as that. And what do I mean by that? This is what I mean. When we sing U, most people go U, 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 right? Right? Well, that's hard. U, 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 right? It's a hard way to get to the U vowel. In fact, in most cases, it's impossible if you're coming off of a hard phrase. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to actually start from here. So sing spot on U with me. But what I want you to do is I want you to have the same feeling in the back of the throat as we did with ah and ah. Okay? Ah. And I just want you to close the front of your face down to get to the ooh. So the feeling is the same in the back of the throat. It stays open. I don't pinch off the back of the throat or the back of the cord. That's what happens. That's what we do when we try to, ooh, when we try to get nose. We, we choke off the cord and we squeeze as much as we can. And then we cram a bunch of air across it to try to reach the next note. And before you know it, you're so hoarse and so dried out, you can barely even sing. You sing four songs and you're done, right? If that even. And you're scared to death to have to finish singing the rest of the night because you've done this. You've squeezed off the cord. You've put forced so much air across the cord that you've dried it out. And now you have to push even more air across the cord to get the next notes that you're looking to get. Instead, we do the opposite, okay? We open the throat. We use the least amount of air as possible. Again, try it, try it with me. at that juncture of where your high barrier or barrier or a tenor and you're starting to feel that stress for your first vowel modification and you start to feel it, okay? Boo still converts to aw, oh, like loft. But it's going to come across more like o oh, when you sing it because you've closed the face down so much. Let me demonstrate it specifically. Listen closely. Ooh. Like o oh, o oh. Okay, and that O is actually your first vowel modification. All right, so O becomes a release vowel. O. Okay, now I'd like to mention one more thing that's really important. I know this is a beginner stage, or not a beginner, but a, a starting stage for the method, right? But as we ascend the scale, if we're up high in the scale, we actually start on our vowel modification. So let's say we're already, let's say we're starting, oh, we're starting on, the, on an A, okay, on the note A, right? Well, I'm actually on my loft uh, vowel modification. Oh, I'm already on uh, on my vowel modification of a, oh, right? I'm actually on uh as I go up. Because that's my vowel modification. My, that's where I start. I start on the vowel modification, not on, ah! Oh, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't do that, right? Okay, so this is true as we're going up the scale. Oh, 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 oh. So now we're basically singing O instead of ooh, but we've closed the face down so much, people think we're singing ooh. We're not. We're singing O with our face closed down to an ooh position. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Now what happens here, right? We went to the loft. We're going to go towards the ooh, uh, like hook. Listen closely. Oh, 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 or ooh. I'm all the way, and the higher up I go, remember I mentioned that it goes all the way to the ooh vowel? Okay, 
Okay. Now I am actually con- I'm actually connecting my chest with my head voice, so I'm going up pretty high, and I'm connecting that sound. So I'm not really pulling just. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm not pulling chest up that high, though I can do that. I just have to treat it differently. All right. So, but I want you guys to practice. Ooh, like hook. one more thing about these before I get on to the eval. When we open up the back of our throat, we have that ah, it's the la la or la oh. Don't get lazy as you go down the scale and start forgetting about your support, forgetting about your posture, and forget about keeping the jaw and the back of the throat open. Treat all of these the same. And we're trying to get the same sound velocity or volume all the way through the scale. I'm not going, la, 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 right? The velocity stays the same. A, la, a, la, a, la, right? It's not bigger or less. If anything, it's a little more gentle on the bottom and then a little bit of sound pressure as you go up. Okay. Now, another thing about this too is as you go up the scale, I want you to really, really practice on this next section I'm going to show you about the eval. We're going to close the eval and we are only allowed two vowel modifications. Okay. So let's go to the eval now. I'll show you what I'm talking about and we'll just start with that. Here we go. <laughs> 